There is it. Mark's right there. Thank you, Mark, for putting this together. We couldn't figure out how to do it. Thank you so much. I gotta plug one of my CDs. I wish I had a CD, CD that sounded exactly like this, but I don't. Uh, a couple years ago, I made a guitar instrumental extravaganza of all Beatles songs, yes. done in all sorts of styles. It's called Let It Be Guitar. And then I made a sequel. I wanted to learn more Beatles songs. It's all Travis Pickett versions of Beatles songs. It's called Let It Be Acoustic Guitar. And uh, I, I have it for sale. That's it. I wanted to tell you about it. Uh, they're right over here. Talk to me after the show. They're two for 20, one for 10, something like that. But deals are being made. And uh, Carl, I know you moved out of England a million years ago to get away from people playing Beatles songs. Yeah, yeah, it and was you want to play exciting. American Rock and Roll, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to make you play a Beatles song. Which right one now. are we going to do? Yeah. Can we dial it up? I don't know. You know, well, let's play a Beatles song that could also double as a jazz song. Uh, probably one of the first jazz songs I ever heard. This may have gotten me into old jazz. I had the White Album when I was a kid, and I loved it. And uh, this is a Paul song. I hope he's listening. This is called Honey Pie. Anybody know Honey Pie? Yeah. It's a good tune, right? It's a beautiful little jazz tune, the key of G, and uh, we're going to swing it. I'll do the intro. Really 